what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 reasons why you should buy wwe 2k22 this should be a an interesting one man i know you guys have been telling us we gotta get it hey we got the gaming pcs at the studio so we're definitely gonna be playing some wwe 2k22 for you guys because you guys have been asking for it for years we got you guys i know y'all been saying to uh, skip a couple of these because the past few years they haven't been that great but you guys are hyped about it we're actually hyped about it I haven't played a wrestling game in so long so this should be something quite interesting let's check this video out appreciate all the love and support let's do this thing i make a video listing 10 reasons why you should or should not buy the newest wwe 2k video game I've been typically excited about each year up until 2K20. I had a strong feeling that that game was going oh, to wow. be ass, and boy was I right. It was the biggest letdown in the history of WWE games. Wow. You could say that it was even worse than 2K15. That game's engine was so slow, and it pretty much ruined the fun of that game, but at least it was a functioning video game. 2K20 wasn't even playable, and I said that in my video. When I originally uploaded it, some people disagreed, and Whoa. I got a couple thousand dislikes, but I was right. 2K just did not have enough time to create a new engine from scratch. Thankfully, they took a year off, and 2K22 looks promising. I haven't been this hyped in a long time, and I got a good feeling about this one. Therefore, today I'm going to list 10 reasons why you should buy right. WWE 2K22. Number 10, the graphics. In my personal experience of gaming, I never really cared about graphics too much. They never made or broke a game for me. However, you can't talk about 2K22 without mentioning the stunning graphics. Most of the models in the game look so good, it is unbelievable. I'm literally excited to play as pretty much everyone on the roster just so I can see how they look. For example, yeah, The they Rock do look good. looked incredible. Sheamus looked great. Roman Reigns has a fantastic model. Sasha Banks also looks really good. In fact, most of the women models yeah, in the game have gotten a huge upgrade except for maybe Charlotte's. The hair fix <laughs> also hit different. The lighting makes a big difference as well. For the first time ever, the graphics may have extremely hyped me up over a video game. Number nine, the okay. entrances. Another thing that I never really cared about in the past WWE video games were the entrances. I would just skip them and turn them off because I just wanted to get into the matches faster. It's a little different this time around. 2K has made efforts to make the entrances better by adding brand new camera angles and I will say mm. that that makes the biggest difference. The entrances of the past games were very generic and that is another reason why I didn't really care about the presentation of those entrances. With the new angles, I'm eager to see everyone's entrance similar to their models. These little differences add up to an overall pleasant experience from what I'm seeing. I feel like the new entrances will make for a better experience and I feel like I can see myself watching them before the matches, which is something like I said I never do. It is, I will say this, it is looking promising. I'm not going to lie to you. The hype for it seems very real. And from what, uh, just the footage that I've seen, it is looking pretty promising. So I am somewhat, somewhat excited to see how things are going to play out this year. Number for, uh, eight, dodging uh, moves. Uh, the 2K, 2K team decided to make drastic changes to the controls for this game because of the new gameplay engine that I'll discuss later on in the video. One of the coolest additions is that you are able to now dodge moves. You can still mm. do the old fashioned reversals that is still in the game, but there's also another way to avoid a strike and that is dodging. This is a great feature because it's going to make some matches much more interesting. It won't just be your typical reversals. You can now dodge and hit your opponent with a unique strike. I think this is a oh, big game changer cool. that many people are not really talking about too much. On top of that, you can also block strikes. That means there are three effective ways to avoid the offense from your opponent, and that will make up for fresh matchups. Number seven, the roster finesse. People are concerned with the roster for WWE mm -hmm. 2K22 because the company fired so many people since just, 2K has been working on the game in 2019. It's true. The good news seems to be that it may be too late to remove those wrestlers. 2K already finished most of the game, and take the career oh. mode for example. There's a critical part that includes Seth Rollins and his former buddy, Buddy Murphy. He's been seen in the trailer, and Jeff Hardy was also in a different video they released across social media as well. Mm. I believe that most of the wrestlers that were released will still be in the video game due to time constraints. 
that is a nice finesse because we don't have to download all these other guys. I'm not sure who will make it and who won't, but hopefully top guys like The Fiend and Jeff Hardy will be in the game. I mean, granted, WWE still has owned rights to those characters. I believe so. So, well, not, well, yeah, in a sense, in what they got going on, like, character-wise, storyline-wise, and obviously, um, in a sense, where it comes to, like, them releasing people and then they're still working on a game. It would make sense if some of these people that were released are still in the game because they were obviously meant to be in there. So I wouldn't have a problem with it. It would just be how they set it up. How how would they go about it? Would it be DLC or whatnot? But granted, you could be like, well, that's kind of scummy. They're still making money off their image. That's WWE. <laughs> they're all about the bottom dollar. They're, they'll make money off you even after they let you go. Maybe 2K will just exclude them from the promo work and the Ross reveal. Number six, Mysterio Showcase. 2K Showcase mode isn't something that's going to make people buy WWE 2K22. It's really not. However, it's a nice addition to the game, especially for younger fans who didn't really witness some of these matches while they were happening. Mm. Choosing Rey Mysterio as the main focus of the mode was a good idea. He's one of the most beloved wrestlers in mm -hmm. WWE history. Oh, they got Eddie and in it's there. it's going to be fun to see his career unfold with him narrating it. What makes this even better is that we're going to have so many classic attires That's and arenas cool. because of his showcase, most of which come from the Ruthless Aggression era, and that is my era, and that is going to be a fun throwback for me. The oh, so you'll be able to go play through his greatest hits. I like that. That's cool. I, I'll definitely be down to do that, man. Raw arena awesome. from the Eddie Tribute Show looks so incredible as well. I just want to throw that out there. Number five, My Faction. For the first time ever, 2K has added a brand new game mode into the WWE game series. It's going to be named My Faction, and it seems like it's going to be very similar to my team from their NBA series. I absolutely love playing my team. It's essentially going to be opening packs and randomly getting wrestlers to form your own faction. 2K has not really talked about it too much yet, but it seems interesting if they're going to be anything similar to the NBA version. I think this will add a lot of longevity to the game. Number okay. four, My Rise. 2K is rebranding the My Career mode, and it is now called My Rise. Now, we don't have too many details on this mode either or any of the changes that they made to it, except that the developmental team did confirm that it is going to be different from 2K20. In the former game, there was one storyline that followed a male and female wrestler. It was an intertwined story that lasted about 24 or maybe 25 hours. 2K has stated that in the new game, there will what be the two hell? separate storylines for both male and female wrestlers. It should last about 25 hours for each story, which means we got a total of 50 hours. I like the idea because it adds a lot more to the game, and it's probably better to keep these storylines apart to make them very unique. Number three, GM mode. We've all been asking for it to return for a decade now, and 2K has finally listened. Oh, so they brought it GM back. GM Mode is finally making a return to the WWE video games. Like I said, it only took 10 years, but it is finally back. It's going to have everything from the draft to booking oh. the show to paying for promos and matches and receiving ratings for the shows. Something tells me that That'd this be pretty is a cool. mode that a lot of people are going to be playing for a long time. It's nice that 2K finally listened to their fans. It really that's seems that's cool, man. Being able to create your own show, book it. Hey, who would be interested in seeing uh, in a clutch GM mode, man? When we book the shows and see how the ratings go, I think that's pretty cool, man. I'm there's a lot to take in because I haven't I've never played any of the 2K wrestling games, but this is I'm actually it's it's definitely piquing my interest even more. It's like there's a ton of modes that will make this game last for a while. Number two, the new gameplay engine. Earlier in the video, I talked about the new gameplay engine that 2K is introducing, and I thought I should talk about it more because it seems like it is the best change to happen to this game. One of the biggest reasons 2K20 sucks so much is because of the glitches and the errors. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, they tried replicating the old engine, and it just did not work out. I like the idea of moving away from that engine and introducing something that has more it of an does arcade look style to it. It looks more fluid, quick, and has a fighting game feel to it. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this compared to the simulation we used to get from the past. I really do, and it's got me very excited. And number one, cross-platform community mm. creations. The last reason you should buy WWE 2K22 is that they have confirmed that there will be cross-platform community creations. I cannot believe wow. that they've finally done it. 
users can now upload all their creations to every platform and anybody from a different platform can download it that is epic oh man i already know y'all gonna make some itc ones you know we're gonna make some itc characters we gotta put ourselves in the game you know what i'm saying the itc crew we're going for the championships we're taking down everybody oh that's gonna be so cool can't wait and then y'all gonna be able to download it too? Oh, that's gonna be awesome, bro. It is seriously one of the best additions to the game. This is going to lead to the best cause we've ever seen in the history of the WWE this 2K is cool. series. I am so excited. This is cool, man. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm interested. I'm hyped. I can't wait to get the game. We're gonna have it on PC, so it's gonna be all cool. Um, we'll probably be setting up our stuff and you know, we're trying to we want to want to be able to start streaming relatively soon Hopefully next month around the time the game starts uh, You know releases. So It's just gonna be great. This is going to be great, man I know you guys are gonna love this the 2k streams are gonna be lit. We are definitely gonna have to create the ITC Crew we're going at it. We're going rogue on everybody man Oh, this is going to be so fun. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys are hyped for WWE 2K22. Are you guys excited for it? Or are you guys not excited for it? You think the, the hype is, is unwarranted? I, I really want to get your opinions on it. But I think a lot of you guys, from what I've been hearing on social media, Twitter, Instagram, you guys are really hyped for this game. So let me know down below how hyped you are for this game to drop. And how hyped you will be for us to start streaming this and playing this, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.